All right, today we're going to talk about assembly language for Intel-based computers. Now, um, this is the third edition, <clears throat> and it's by um, Kip R. Irvine. And um, this this is actually, they're, I believe they're on the ninth edition of this book now. Now, you want to be careful buying the ninth edition because I believe it's just like a, it gives you permissions to log into some online resource that allows you to access the book. And even if you pay for it, you technically have to have like a license to... Not not for this edition, but for the newest edition, I believe this is the case. You actually have to be you have to be um, signed up for an actual course, and you need like a special passcode from your professor. Otherwise, you won't be able to even use the book, even if you paid for it. So just 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 a warning. Make sure you you pay attention to what you're actually buying. Um, you know, if you're buying like a digital copy of this book, if you're you know for the ninth edition, this is the third edition. This is what I used back in university. I believe this was back in like 2002 or something. So a lot has changed since then. But um, this is the book I used, and it was a great book, and probably the newer versions are pretty excellent as well. Now, way back when I used this, this was using, you know, this comes with free Microsoft Massim uh, 6.11 assembler included. So it came with some software, and um, <clears throat> we, it was, this basically, this teaches you Intel-based assembly language, and um, this was 16, 16 bit based. Most of the code here is dealing with 16-bit registers and stuff. And um, it basically, uh, it, they, they did talk about like 32-bit registers and a little bit of 32-bit stuff, but they barely touched upon that. So, and, and these days we have like 64-bit process, like practically every processor out there is 64-bit. So um, th there, there's that. So this is a little bit, behind. this version, there, this edition of the book is a bit behind. So um, you're, you're gonna probably wanna get a more updated version. You won't necessarily need the ninth version. Um, what, what else? Uh, yeah, this, I guess this, this is the guy I bought the book from. Um, he wrote his name in there. So it has like, you know, ASCII control characters, all key combinations, functions, blah, 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 all sorts of stuff. Um, so in, anyways, so it goes over actually how to code stuff up, gives you like examples of, uh, you know, how to write Intel based assembly. Um, this is where I learned it from. You know a lot of great stuff I'm not gonna actually show you too many pictures of the like it shows you how like different sections of memory work and that that type of stuff um how pro and yeah basically all that stuff I'm not gonna get into the actual contents of it too much but just you know a lot of code and a lot of assembly language I, I think this is a terrific book and I would recommend getting this one except just get the newer version not this version and um, what, what, what else what else could I say about this and only so much else you could say about it um, assembly language is a, still very much a relevant thing to learn today, even with our, you know, our um, <clears throat> modern high-level programming languages. This is great if you want to, say, design operating systems, um, write your own compiler. You know, the people who write compilers do need to learn assembly language. They need to, you know, the people who write and maintain the compilers for high-level languages need to know assembly language. People who write drivers. Um, people who want to reverse engineer or troubleshoot things like if you have just a binary without the source code and you want to reverse engineer it you're going to use like a real-time debugger and um, or a disassembler and you're going to need to know assembly language for that but that's a, that, those are just a few use cases for learning assembly language I'd highly recommend learning assembly language and I think this is this book is a terrific book to learn assembly language so I'm going to put a link in the description to my to a web page where I talked about this book in a little bit more detail. And I'm also going to put a link to this book on Amazon. It's an affiliate link, so I get a commission if you click on it. Um, so you can either click on that link to find this book on Amazon. I'm actually going to probably put a few links to a few different editions of this book, so you can pick the one that you think is right for you. Um, but if you just want to read about the book, you can click the link to my web page and read about this book there. But um, that's about all I have to say about this book today. Um, but yeah, de definitely buy this book or, or a new version of this book. And as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video.